ladies and gentlemen. I'm Ben Clements with the final spin. We're right here on a beautiful sunny day in Murfreesboro, Tennessee at the Eastern Regional Finals. It is the second stop of the USTRC Regional Final Series, and it is a qualifier for the American. We're here for four action-packed days of team roping. We've got complete coverage right here. Well, the day right here at Murfreesboro, Tennessee started off with some absolutely wonderful team roping action as we have a qualifier for the American. That's RFD TV's The American. We're going to start with the 11th callback team, and that's Quentin Parchman and Derek Crawford. This team's out of Stephenville, Texas, and Lebanon, Tennessee. They qualified here with a 30 and 16. Needing a run of 13.95 to take the lead, they come with a big swing and they get him caught 6 and 77, bringing their total to 36 and 93 and putting a lot of pressure on the remaining teams. The 10th callback is Clint Summers and Zach Richardson. Now this team's out of Florida and they plan to get qualified. They're 29-36. Now they need to be a 7.57 right here, but they turn in a time of 12 and 16, puts them at 41 and 52, and they're now number two. We'll slide up to the ninth callback. That's John Alley and Clark Adcock out of Adams, Tennessee and Smithville. Now with a 29-20, they need it to be right here. A simple run of 773 to take over the lead of the roping. And they're 801. That's going to slide them into the number two spot at 37 and 21. Then it's the eighth high back, Chris Chandler, Sam Smith. This team with a 2790. A 903 right here would take them to the lead. Chris Chandler gets it on the steer. Sam comes in. They're clean right here with a 950, putting their total at 3740, and that makes them third at the moment. We'll go to the sixth high team back. It's Brandon Harris, Sean Harris. This team's out of Arkansas with a 26 and 70. Brandon Harris, he's on the head side. His partner, Sean, to the back. They need to be a 10-22 right here to go to the lead. Problems. They rope one hind leg, and they're going to be a 13 and 63, and that is going to put their total at 40 and 33, placing them fourth right now in the average. The fifth high team back, it's Clint Summers again on the head side with his partner, Kyle Lawrence. They're 25 and 60. They need to be at 10.32 right here to be number one, and they catch this steer 12 and 64. It's one hind leg on the backside for Kyle Lawrence. They're 38-24, fourth place right at the moment. Well, the top four now, it's Corey Clark. His partner's Caleb Anderson, a team out of North Carolina. Now they're 25-11. They need a run of 11.82 to go to the lead right here. 10.91 is what they post, and they're a 36.02, and they are the new number one with three teams to rope. Here's Jimmy Tanner, Cole Bigby. Both of these guys are NFR qualifiers. They're 24-73. They need to be an 11-28 right here, but a broken barrier and one hind leg is going to bring their 7-19 to a 17-19, putting them at 41-92, and they are eighth place. They've got a little bit to sweat as we go to the top two. Will Clark is the header, and Josh Clayton. This team's out of Tennessee with a 24-30. They need to be an 11-71 to take over the lead. They are a smoking run of 685. Puts them a 31 and 15, and they are now number one. It's the high team back. Here is Dr. Bobby Boyd out of Midland, Texas. Partner on the back side out of Arizona is Byron Wilkerson. They're a 2205. With a run of nine and 10 right here, they will be the champions of the American. And so, Bobby Boyd takes a safe start, gets his steer caught, moves him out. Byron comes in. It's two feet all day. They're 733. Ladies and gentlemen, with a 2938, Bobby Boyd and Byron Wilkerson are walking out of here with $3,750 and the champion of the qualifier for the American. Now it's time to move on to the short round of the Open Division. We're going to start with the 15th callback team, Corey Clark and Ben Gambrell. Now this team, uh, they actually hail from back east, but they both make their home in Stephenville, Texas right now. They are 44-12 to qualify here to the short round. Corey comes with a big shot, gets him caught. Ben Gambrell comes around there 497 the entire Fast time of the day puts our total at 49.09, and they are the number one team. We'll go to the eighth high back. 
It's Chris Chandler and Sam Smith. Now this team right here, they're making some moves. They need to be right here. An 11.68 to go to the lead. Chris Chandler gets him caught. Sam comes around. He's got him. 7.40, and their total is 44.80. They're now number one. Well, it's the fifth callback. Corey Clark is back again. This time he's teamed up with Caleb Anderson. They're a 36.02. They need to be on this steer, 8.78. And Corey Clark, true to form, comes with a heat. He gets him caught, and Caleb, 5 and 61. They're going to be a 41 and 63. They're now number one. The second high team back is Gable Hildebrand and Ethan Corey. It's a team out of Kansas and Texas. Gable on the head side, Ethan Corey to the back. They're 30 33, and 11 30 right here would put them to the lead and guarantee them no less than second. And Gable comes with it, gets it on him. Ethan to the backside. They are 850 on a clean run, 3883. They're now in command of the average with one team to sweat. And it is certainly the team of the day thus far. It's Bobby Boyd and Byron Wilkerson. These guys won the American qualifier. They came back, they won the incentive average of the open, and now they're high team back. With a run of 945 right here, this duo could walk out of here with an additional $4,436 and trophy guest spurs. Bobby takes a safe start right here and gets him caught. As he moves him out, the steer kind of comes under the heel horse, but not a problem for Byron Wilkerson. He cleans it up. They're 821, and their total is 37 and 59. They put another $4,436 in their pockets. Ladies and gentlemen, I had a chance to visit with our champions, Bobby Boyd and Byron Wilkerson. Well, I'm standing here with the champion right here. Bobby, you've had a great day. You you won the American qualifier. You won the incentive, and you won the average of the Open. But it was quite a challenge to even get here to Murfreesboro. Tell me about that. Well, yesterday, I worked uh, yesterday morning, and about 2 o'clock, I left the clinic to get over here, get on an airplane, sit down, finally think, oh, great, I'm going to get here. Then they call and go, well, well, there's a part that's broke. We're going to wait here. They get off the plane. They go, well... It's not going to go to Tennessee anymore. It's going to get to Houston, and that's it. No way I can get here. And they go, oh, well, if you'll run to that other plane over there, we'll get you on, and you can go to Las Vegas. And then get on one after a three- or four-hour layover back to uh, Tennessee. From Vegas to Tennessee, you had not figured it out, it's all the way across the United States just to get here. So, but it was worth it. Heck yeah, so you, you took a breath and you knew Byron was going to clean it up on the backside. And then you guys uh, you guys advanced on into the open, your high team back again. Nervous there or you're just excited to be there? Oh, the adrenaline is already hit. You know, we had that adrenaline rush, not even nervous there. That was like, huh. and we had we had a pretty good long time. I laid him out safe and went down there, caught him, did the same thing, and uh, got him caught. And just as I was about to nod, Byron's over there screaming at me, Whoa, 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 whoa. I don't know what he was doing over there, if he's getting a hot dog or what. But uh, anyway, it worked out. So tell me a little bit about um, how, how you uh, view the American for a roper like yourself. Well, the American gives uh, the guys that don't do it for a living, it gives them a chance to be on center stage, rope against them. And the, the format gives you a chance. You're not... Uh, you're not outnumbered. You can uh, you can get there, and you just rope consistent. And now I don't know what it's going to be like at the semi qualifier because I didn't make it last year, but I'll give it the best shot I got. That's what it's all about, Bobby. Congratulations! Great roping today. We're proud of you. Okay. Hopefully, we'll see you at AT&T Stadium. I hope so. Well, Byron, uh, champion healer of the American today at the Eastern Regional Finals. What was your goal right there uh, in the American as your high team back? Well, the whole roping. I'm riding a little stud horse that I got. Uh, the whole roping was. I was trying to just take a deep breath and keep him good in the box and <laughs> it was good through the American and then we got to the high team of the roping and I got a little amped up and right just as he nodded my horse jumped about halfway out the box and I thought uh oh here we go <laughs> but anyway I got him pulled up before we broke the barrier and then it was just a matter of finishing it up. Absolutely. Well, Brian, you've been, uh, you've been around rodeo for a long time. Has this kind of changed the game a little bit? You know, I think so. I think it's bringing a lot, of the, a lot of other guys out, you know, that normally it's like we traveled a long ways to get here just for the American. I mean, well, I'm from Arizona. He's from West Texas. It's a long ways out here. And so that's what it means. I mean, it means that you go anywhere, they're going to pay money and give us a chance to get to the AT&T Stadium. You bet. Byron, congratulations. Good luck at uh, the semifinals, and good luck. Uh, we hope to see you there at AT&T Stadium. Thank you very much. I appreciate everything you all do. R RFD, you're priceless. Thank you. 
Well, what a deal and what a challenge it was to even get here for the team of Bobby Boyd and Byron Wilkerson, but well worth it once they had the opportunity to get inside the arena. They get out of here as champions of the Open, champions of the American, and what a great day for a great team, Bobby Boyd, Byron Wilkerson. Ladies and gentlemen, stay tuned to the final spin for complete coverage from the Eastern Regional Finals in Murfreesboro, Tennessee.